Oh, okay. Look, he's really mad. What? Hey. Oh. What? What? Bro. I don't know. I think you guys are all working together. Well, why are you getting your name down if you don't know what you're getting it for? Why? You just asked for my name. Yeah, you should be getting my name, not theirs. Yeah, no, I got you. We're not the ones that crashed into We're just helping them out. Did you get the video? Um, yeah. So, yeah, I know I know you guys have it. Yeah, we were I mean, we, we were just recording, like, for fun. Because we do videos, we do YouTube. So, that's what happened. With professional setups here. What do you mean? No, it's not a prank. It wasn't a prank. Please. No, what happened? Really? I mean, we literally saw your car rolling back. My car was not rolling. It's because the thing about back. this car, I mean, you, you're the owner of it. Hey, can I get your number too? Yeah, hold that. And send me the other I'll take all okay. Hello, everyone. Um, Apparently, or is it recording? No, I don't okay. do stuff like that. Oh, really, just, I'm a really honest, law abiding citizen. So, so are you saying uh, we're part of this too? Are you recording this? No, car? like it's a beautiful car. We were coincidentally recording. We're not trying to go against you or anything, you know. We're know. just random people on the road. I don't, I don't know what happened. Right yeah. yeah, we just wanted to see the, like, if we made it down. I'm a, I'm like, I like, I'm into cars a lot. That's why I was like, I'm just recording the car. You want to see the video? If you really want to see my page, I can show you. I have millions of cars that I record every day. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, I did see this back up into that car. The car did not back up. Show the video. video? Oh, God. <laughs> No, I think we think in neutral. That's why, like, it was probably in neutral and it just yeah, like coasted back. That, that I, did, I did not have the car in neutral. Well, does, does this car have a drive? Is it manual? It doesn't have a drive. So this car, to, for it to go in first gear, you have to click the pedal. Shift I there. know you what you do. Exactly. And when you stop, the this car thing. does not go into neutral what? when you come up to a stop sign. Maybe you had it in neutral. I'm not saying you went to neutral. All I know is my car did not move. They, yeah, they have video of that. Video. I can show you. Let me just make sure I save it. doesn't believe it. I don't know how you go. So like the reverse lights, they weren't on. It was just like, so it was dead lights. Right? It, was, it was a neutral. That's what happened. Like, put the time Or Trying to like, have it without the caption. And they're filming you, don't say anything to them. Right? Y'all got their cameras on you, they're just gonna oh, make Oh, look at their cameras show. even. They're like professionally know, set know, up. Know, she, <laughs> wait, she, back, she backed into me. Wait, who are you? What? What? This is illegal. What? This is illegal. If you have me on that picture, it's illegal. It's illegal? Yes, it is. Because I don't want picture. Taken. Which law? What law is that, ma'am? I don't want. I am not going to look in the book for that just for you. I don't want. It's not picture. illegal, ma'am. It is illegal. I don't Not want my picture. Here in America, this is perfectly legal. I don't want my picture in it. It's a video, not a picture. I don't care. Take it off. I cannot, ma'am. You're in the public, so you, you have Why are you taking the picture of the customers? I just get video of everyone that comes in. What? I get video of everyone that comes in. No, that's illegal. Is it? Is it illegal? Yes, it is illegal. No, no, no. Okay. You want me to call the police? I mean, I will. you can, but they're just going to educate you, ma'am. They are not going to educate me. They are going to educate you. And yeah. you are camouflaging yourself. You are hiding your identity with your beard, artificial beard. This is a real beard, ma'am. Oh, 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 yeah, it is, yeah. It is. It is as real as, as uh, you know. It's real. No, it's not. Okay. I am a lady. Otherwise, I will grab it and smash it on the floor. You're no. lucky that I am a lady. No, you wouldn't do that. Yes, no, I, I wouldn't, but somebody might. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Not illegal, that's what it is. Yes, it is illegal. It's not illegal, ma'am. Why are you doing this? Why are you in my post office? Why I'm in the post office? It's my business, yeah. not yours. Perfect. That's a wonderful attitude. Perfect. Then it's none of your business either. Beautiful. You no. can be here, but not Absolutely, here. absolutely. And why are you wearing a glove? That's really suspicious. Why a glove? Before we get back to the video, wanted to say a couple things here. Um, in the past year, 
we have experienced some truly remarkable moments. We're going to share some of those with you here today. We have connected with so many individuals from diverse backgrounds while out here auditing. These encounters have been overwhelmingly positive, yet there's been numerous incident instances instances where I have felt very disheartened about the state of our country that claims to protect our rights while also advertising them in every way possible. It's become clear to me just how many Americans take this beautiful nation and our freedoms for granted. Over the last several months, I have encountered more physical confrontations more frequently. And so as my fellow auditors and the people that we, you know, sometimes meet up with, not just directed at me, but also affecting fellow activists who genuinely care about the intent behind exercising our rights. The increasing frequency of these incidents signals a very concerning trend for our future, for our, you know, great nation. There's a huge population of people that think that we don't have rights. That's a little concerning, a lot concerning. We should all be concerned with that. Some may wonder why I claim that our rights are under attack when they still exist. Um, I urge those people to consider you know, the pervasive ignorance surrounding the exercise of our rights, particularly in a peaceful and expressive or even in expressive ways. We are witnessing protests escalate into violence, activate uh, any kind of activists. They're facing attacks. Nothing has much changed in about in a century as far as activism goes. And you think by now activism would, would, have, would have grown to a more uh, peaceful engagement. When someone challenges another's beliefs, um, and us just standing there can be challenging, I'm sure, to uh, a percentage of the population, it can lead to some open hostility, and especially if your views are unpopular. It seems police, media, and those who perceive you as a threat will act against you with alarming speed and resources. And that's something a lot of people deal with. And it's not just in, you know, auditing. As we navigate today's changing political climate, where people are becoming more sensitive to the exercise of rights, you see us getting yelled at by political parties on mm -hmm. both sides all of the time. I want to address a recent incident that represents yet another blow to our freedoms. Two young men who are trying to cultivate a love for this nation to share with future generations faced a distressing attack. Again, this attack was twisted by a bystander who, for some reason, was ready there, ready filming um, an incident as it engaged or as it happened. The media who shared the news under the very protections that we were out here exercising decided to twist the narrative in a sensationalistic way. While I cannot speak on behalf of other activists that go out with us... Um, we have very limited contact. We don't even know each other's names. I have decided to take a step back from auditing personally or, you know, out in public. Um, I believe my sons may also limit their involvement, and that's a call they'll have to make independently. Uh, no one, however, should face violence for exercising their rights, especially when law enforcement and media appear to be working against them. And, you know, that means that they're working against freedom. We should work really hard to maintain freedom in this country. It absolutely is necessary, but at what cost? You know, a uh, personal cost to myself, for example, as a trauma uh, survivor from when I was way young and my teenage years getting severely beat. You know, it, you can only take so much of abusive behavior from other people constantly. And the one from the other day really just toppled it off. Don't lose hope, however. My focus will shift more on educating our public about our rights and freedoms, ensuring that those who choose to exercise them can continue to do so as safely and peacefully as possible. Discouraging attacks on the very few people left defending our rights. It's very important that we continue to do that. We will continue to do that from a different uh, standpoint, or at least I will. My sons have to make up their own minds. You know, they're, they're kind of doing their own thing. They're going to have to come to their own conclusions here. While reflecting on these issues, I want to address a few points that I've previously expressed mild support for those who, for example, uh, troll and expose auditors, especially when they target individuals uh, guilty of child abuse or domestic violence. I think that's an A1. Those actions can be very commendable, and they are commendable when they uh, do it in those ways. And we should not vilify those who exercise their rights in this way by going after people who perform audits. We had a few comments uh, in our section today. They're like, oh, screw the, you know, uh, I think fraud or troll is one of the examples. Uh, we live in a nation where everybody gets to disagree. Everybody. Not just me, not just you, everybody. And mistakes happen on all sides. 
uh, theirs, ours, uh, but my main concern arises out of a context uh, being lost, leading to hate and violence against those exercising freedoms, something that some of the trolls have done with or without intent, um, and they allow it in their comments, and they you know, have uh, private discords, which we get screenshots from all the time, and they're allowing, if not even encouraging, uh, violence against uh, auditing, uh, people out there auditing, and that's not a good thing for anybody involved. We can't foster a system where auditors target trolls for their right to speak out either. Um, I've heard of auditors placing false copyright strikes against uh, uh, trolls when they go after their channels or go after the videos or an incident that happened um, that they have also uploaded for public consumption, for, ex you know, for example. Um, and that is vacating the path of free, the free speech that we are out here to protect. So if a troll wants to take uh, your videos or my videos or anybody and uh, have remarks on them, guess what? That's their free right and uh, uh, free speech to do so. Um, you can't be mad. You shouldn't be, you know, trying to copyright strike people and stuff. It's a, you know, uh, YouTube's a platform for everybody. And when you are disseminating a product, disseminating news uh, as journalists, then you have to accept the consequences of uh, that dissemination. That includes people reusing your content and making commentary on it. Every voice should be heard, even if it expresses dissent. I have previously applauded pages like Fraud or Troll for holding individuals accountable, especially when it comes to ones that go after, you know, children, any kind of abuse, regardless of what their stance is on that we do. There should be some people that shouldn't do any of this stuff. They shouldn't even be allowed to own a camera. And it's really wonderful when the trolls go after those people. Um, however, pages advocating violence should cease. It may not be the intent, but screenshots that are sent to us often uh, where Discord and Reddit posts, uh, violence is encouraged. Uh, violence should never be encouraged, and it shouldn't be insinuated to be encouraged. I have noticed activists even, one another, um, attacking one another in a very distasteful manner. While I may not agree with the method of some auditors, um, you know, uh, that I've encountered or, you know, uh, it, is a, it is very essential to remember we don't share a single playbook. Uh, we all work independent of each other, even with my sons. They work independent of what I do. Um, they are free to try and express themselves how they want to. And it's very important, you know, especially as they were learning and I was learning, we all learned together, um, that we also be reminded of that. You know, my free speech is your free speech and his free speech and everybody's free speech, the troll's free speech. Uh, if we felt if we have ever felt that boundaries were crossed, um, it has been and was addressed privately um, between anybody that we worked with as well. The infighting among act, you know activists uh, resembles a middle school popularity contest uh, where secrets are weaponized instead of fostering support and guidance. And I know uh, some of the trolls have done some videos on, uh, you know, uh, auditors attacking each other and weaponizing, you know, old friendships and the secrets of old friendships. That doesn't help any of the movement. A system with checks and balances is beneficial. Um, so comment on their content. Um, I appreciate those trolls and pages who have approached their critiques respectfully, even in disagreement with our message. Um, I think that's a very important thing that us, you know, if you are an auditor or call yourself an auditor, you should agree with that. And lastly, uh, needs to be stated, I refuse to be a punching bag any longer. We have faced brutal attacks recently, and it's all too easy for narratives to shift when victims aren't widely supported. And we are obviously not widely supported victims. It's been shown a few times. We've had them in our videos. Um, we're done being victims to all those who can't manage their emotions. The ongoing assaults have taken a toll and are contributing to my collective PTSD as a survival, uh, uh, abuse surviving victim. We forgive those people who have attacked us for they don't know better. Um, they were taught violence somewhere and they took it out on us. And hopefully they seek some help for the violence that they, you know, had to deal with themselves. 
for those unaware, I myself was raised with an enormous amount of physical abuse, uh, physical abuse that left scars on my body, actual scars, um, fractures in both my hands. Um, I've explained and shared those, um, still have them. We have tendon issues that, you know, on one of them where it like slips into a fracture that never healed. Um, and, and part of that hurt, um, you know, I have to carry my heart. And to a point where my entire life, I personally have been incapable of knowing how to truly love somebody. And that's kind of why I married, for example, my best friend and longtime supporter instead of going after intimacy and love um, in a very traditional or untraditional marriage that I have. Um, this is why I took these kids in. You know, I worked every waking moment to ensure that they had options to the point where it's broken me sometimes. Um, I've sacrificed, you know, if they ever decide to share their story, um, they've watched me sacrifice everything to make sure that they had options that they otherwise wouldn't have had. So for these reasons, I am shifting to a more educational role, focusing on the alarming trend of, uh, aggression against our freedoms while we highlight some of the incredible experiences while engaging with the public about our rights and freedoms. Stay tuned. Um, in the next few days, uh, probably in the coming, uh, probably for about a week or so, we'll be showcasing some of our most memorable moments from the past year. Um, we will uh, place a little bit of an automated style on it, um, tracing our journey. And I'll return in a week or two with something fresh that aligns with these ideals. Uh, thank you for your continued support. And we will see you absolutely really, really soon. And I want to thank all of you guys. Um, we're not mm -hmm. going anywhere. Um, in the totality of things, but we are definitely going to change the format. We're done getting uh, attacked for exercising our rights and freedoms. Um, and it, it's exhausting. And PTSD is definitely a real thing uh, to the point where, you know, I'll be out there. And my Apple Watch only in the last three or four months is starting going off several times a day. Blood pressure, blood pressure, blood pressure. And lately it's been even more. And I'm done. Uh, a lot of people don't know I have a condition. It's a stress-induced condition, which sucks when you're under a lot of stress. Um, it's called Globus, um, and I haven't shared that with anybody. Um, I don't think on here yet. Maybe I did once, but um, it is where stress closes my, or constricts my throat. And while I'm eating, my throat gets or my food gets lodged right here, and it's done. It's not going anywhere. And I begin losing air, gasping for breaths. Um, it is deadly the way that it occurs. Um, I have to hopefully hope that somebody is around me. I always make some kind of noise. I let people know what's going on. So if I need some assistance, they'll give it to me. But I have to find a way to induce vomiting by drinking water or something uh, too fast. Um, and it sucks. And it's scary. And for a number of years, I had it under control. I think what was the first incident? It was like what, four years ago. The very first one. I'm not sure, man. <laughs> um, and it, the white rice was, did it. It was like it was just rice. I was like, how did that choke on rice? But apparently when you, it mixes with your saliva, it goes together. Uh, I didn't know that either. Um, first one was on white rice. Didn't know what happened. It started happening for like a whole week. And I, I went to the doctor and like, yeah, you got a stress-related uh, throat constriction issue. And I was like, lovely, because I always am stressed. <laughs> um it went away for a number of years. I learned how to relax, uh, meditate, chill out until the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And the last couple of weeks, I've had the issue arise um, six times now, six times in the last couple of weeks. And it, it, it can kill me. The issue will kill me if I if I don't take it seriously. Six times in the last couple of weeks. Um it is very dangerous. Um, I'm not looking forward to the moment where that happens when nobody's around, and that that would really, really suck. Um, but you know, uh, we're gonna move on, and we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks with uh, you know slightly uh, different presentation on what we're gonna do, and we're gonna figure it out all together as we go. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your support for the next couple uh, for the next week or two. We're gonna show you some content. We're still gonna be involved. We'll be doing yep. this. We'll be appearing on screen. Um, in some cases and in some cases not, but we'll go ahead and walk you through some of our favorite moments of the last uh, year. And I think it'll be a wonderful experience for all of us. Thank you for listening to my very broken speech. Um, <laughs> I tried really hard to work through my speech impediment, which is not easy. 
like right now, I'd take a break. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for listening, and let's go back to the video. Can I get Okay. I'm not going to talk to you because I need to talk to the big boss. Ma'am, you don't have to be rude to the workers. They're just trying to help you. She's not rude. She's as close to I just listen to her. I don't want her to talk to her. She's not even talking to her. What's the problem? No, it's okay. What? Excuse me. What is the problem? You are all camouflaging yourself. Ma'am, look how much makeup you are camouflaged to. I have a beard. You painted your face. All right. You have a beautiful day. Do some research, ma'am. When have you have day. when you have that much makeup on, you don't get to comment on my beard. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm recording, sir. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. And I want to know why. You don't get to know why. It's I want to ask the post America. officer. Yeah. I'll ask the post officer. Perfect. Office. Ask him. Why? They won't know either. Yeah, they will. Okay. Yeah. All right. I get done. All right. Oh, oh wow. Scary. Go away now. Dude, you're just bye -bye. intimidating as hell. Bye bye. You know that? Bye bye. And you're now, and you're in my space. Bye bye. You're intimidating as touch hell. Touch me again, I'll drop you. I didn't around. touch you. I'm just. It doesn't matter. That's part of me. Do it again. Do what? You'll end up on the floor right now. Dude, hey, get the police here. He Go ahead. He's tattletailing because he wanted to assault someone and then got told if he did, he'll be put down. Get the police here. Why, why are we calling I got some answers. He just threatened me. No, he said if no, you... No, no. In self-defense, no, no. absolutely. Sure, In self-defense, absolutely. All I did was touch your palm. You're not allowed to. Sure. Do you know what a threat is? Because You're not allowed to photograph sure. me. I absolutely sure. am. Taking video. Why? Just capturing footage. Pardon? Capturing footage. You don't have permission to shoot me. Right? So you're in public, so I don't need your permission, ma'am. Can I let this hang out with you? Yeah. You do. You Not in public, ma'am. Yes, in public. Miss, there's no expectation of privacy in public. And yes, you're in a public building. Public. There's, there's an expectation right. of privacy in, in public. Home. Why are you wearing a fake mask? Well, that's another question. Both of you. Yeah, so we're reminding people that if you want privacy in public, you have to create it yourself. You see his mask, he created his privacy. Oh, I You can put on a mask right now and it'll create your privacy. Oh, I, I don't yeah. buy any of that. You don't mind it, right? So it's just if you want to create your privacy. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to okay, remind I'm people. I'm going to go get my camera and take you. Your That's picture. perfectly fine. You're We're in public and you're allowed to do All that. Right. My phone is just... Uh, this is nice? It is. No, it's not. It's my right. I don't want to be on your film. I don't care. I don't want to be on your film. No, I care about my rights. I don't want you posting anything. And you didn't ask. You're just giving... This is against my civil rights. It's called community civics. 
个破女房子，买水果了，啊，不要了，这里是，这刚好在里面。我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操！我操
you might want to learn the definition of harassment. I know what harassment is. Okay. Off my kid. I'm actually, we're going to blur her face out. No, there's no that. blurring. You're going to get my kid off. Your kid's not even in my frame. Yeah, be on oh, that's a threat on camera. That's beautiful. Your kid's not even in frame, ma'am. If you don't want your kid to be on camera in public, don't bring your kid into public. No, you can't. You actually can't. That would be illegal. For someone to believe they can steal property from someone over the peaceful exercise of rights is the very issue at hand here. This education is so important for our nation. Oh, that would not be illegal. It would be illegal. Yeah. That's called, because this phone is worth over $1,000, you'd be going to jail for grand theft. That's a felony. You can escort them the same way you escort me out, right? right? We are lawfully allowed to be here. Oh. Ma'am, you engaged with us. We didn't start this conversation. It is right. It is literally the exercise of rights. Rights are not here to make people happy. Just Exercising rights is the most valuable thing you can do in this country. Stop talking while she's conducting business in your face. That's what I'm asking for you to do. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. I, I have keeping it down. I'm only reacting or responding to her comments. Ma'am, I'm not okay, to respond. I said, okay, bud. <laughs> he was really trying to go for, to reach for something. What'd you say? Because we're I said, okay, bud. Through the top. about that ma'am so I'm not going anywhere I'm staying right here yeah and also if you ask him to come look at my camera your kid hasn't even been on my camera it literally my camera is from your elbows up I'm all the way zoomed out and her kids not even on camera Perfect. We can all sit here all day. Would you want to go on this? I just think it's wrong. You guys know it's wrong. So. Right or not wrong, and yeah. you're ugly anyway. You can have your camera. 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 Don't touch me. I'll touch you in all the ways I want to. Okay, so you're a sex offender. Yeah, I'm a sex offender. your face from 10 feet away just drop drop dead yeah i mean we can't even see who you are because you're wearing totally you don't face. have to you have makeup on i don't know who you are i don't have any makeup on that's you what, asshole that's what they all say and mind your own goddamn business mind yours next time i'm not the one in your face you're the one in my I'm face i'm 10 feet away from you i'm not here. the one wearing a face disguise okay just go take you a nap just go take a nap yeah. you need one Oh no! Bye bye. Watch out, this car. Yep. Be safe, puppy. Sorry, puppy. <laughs> I love you, ma'am. <laughs> you too.
nonsense. Okay. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. I'm infringing on my rights. Nope, that, we're actually exercising your rights. No, you're not. Yep. God, these people need to learn. <laughs> I said, I love you, Lily. She's like, good luck, love. <laughs> so, she's like, I'm Dude, did dead. Did you see her in the background when that lady was bugging? Uh -uh. She was just laughing her ass off. <laughs> That's so funny. Bro. <laughs> I can't. The lady's license plate because she smacked my camera and the other lady's still out there screaming her head off. Oh, I love the shoes. It's it's a public building. Harassing? You mean the lady that? You mean the lady that came in here screaming and yelling at us for fifteen minutes? I can go, I can talk to whoever I want. I don't like the fact that you're not wearing socks. Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't she do the flipping off? Yeah. Oh, man. Hey. So you currently have one or you I currently have one? Is it expired yet? It's expired in about six months. Okay, so you're saying. And uh, it's it's so I'm just okay. Yeah. Elevate okay. fitness. So I can do it, but the only downside is our camera is down. So you have to bring a uh, photo for us. Um, so what you need is the application, which is in the back. You fill it out in black pen. You're gonna need a passport photo, which again, you have to bring one in. Uh, we do have right next to the application, there's a list of locations that are nearby, local, that you can go get one. You're gonna need a, a personal check. If you don't have checks, then we do some money order using debit or cash. And then you just gotta mail it in. Uh, mail it in depending on how fast or how much you wanna pay. Uh, the slowest way is gonna be six to eight weeks. That one is gonna be 130. Uh, then the shipping cost is 985. You want to expedite it? There's two levels of expediting. There's the two to three weeks with five days coming back. That one's going to be 190. Or the the fastest fast one is 20936. I believe that one is going to be two to three weeks, but next day coming back. Okay. You save a couple of days just coming back. Okay. Okay. Um, but, um, okay. So I'll take this picture. Uh, check or you can buy it here. It's going to be the purple form right in the corner of the back, okay. uh, against the wall, and then on the middle by the glass, there's a form where it gives you location you can get. Oh, Andy has an American flag on her shoulder. He's wearing an American flag, but doesn't like rights. That's perfect. That's a fun for this country, not for you to do stupid shit, bro. Okay. Yeah. We are peacefully exercising our rights, and some lady came in freaked out on us, so you only saw the latter half. He even defended us, and you still want to be ignorant. What are you doing here? Exercising our rights. To do what? To hassle people? So you think this How is are we harassing people? Do you think people want this, bro? They don't have to want it. Our rights are not comfortable all the time. No, people are ignorant when they take an oath to a constitution but forget to read it. Wow. Wow. That's what we've come to. You took an oath to the wrong country, apparently, because you forgot yours. And then mail it. Bro, if you are America, we got an issue. If we're what? Um, she absolutely was the aggressor, you lying yeah, SOB. Because you keep talking shit. Because you keep talking shit. You are the whiniest. 
Like that, literally, guy. as you are instigating people, literally, as you're insti- you're full on Karen. Standing there filming us. We're allowed to. It's an exercise of rights. Get used to it. You're in America. Welcome to it. Stop fighting for the other side. This isn't North Korea. Karen over there fire starting people with her own agenda and her man bun. This is the first, I mean, I know we've had some veterans that disagree with what we're doing, but this is the first Karen veteran, like full on Karen, uh, man bun and everything. Like, I wish I could play the Machine Gun Kelly song right here, but yeah, this is ridiculous. And then to stir up and fire start people, like just Karen, full on Karen, to stir up and fire start people based on a created narrative and the end of a situation that was created. Taking video. Please don't video me. You're in public, ma'am. I know, but don't video me. You're in public. Don't don't don't, don't try and touch me. Get the fuck don't out. Get out of here. Don't try and touch me. Don't go, video go me. Go do your business. You're Just getting video. videoed by three people inside, so good luck. Get your shit done and go. <laughs> what are you up to? How you doing? So if you're dropping that off, uh oh, right there. Yeah. yeah. That's all. Awesome. Nothing nefarious. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love your socks, by the way. Very colorful. Well thought out. <laughs> what are you guys doing? We are doing a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights. Love it. Yep. You guys are going. You too. Thank you. Stay safe out there. You too. Don't forget his picture. He's going to feel left out. I was going to say, no, he didn't get him. You missed us. Does he have any socks on? Oh, no. No socks. That's bullshit, dude. What are you guys doing, man? This Exercising is- our rights. Sir, this is out of order. You can, There's a box right there. Don't approach me like that. I'm not your type. Or you're not my type. Next time you want to kiss me, at least take me out first. So are your feet.
You have a good day, sir. Thanks, man. And they're videotaping people out in front of your... Yeah, oh, not cool. Yeah, they can't be doing that. We're not giving permission for them to film us. Ma'am, you don't need permission in public, which is precisely why we're here reminding and letting people know that. Okay, well, you don't have my permission. I don't need your permission, ma'am. You're in public. This is public. What's your movie for, man? It's, what is it? It's an exercise of your First Amendment right. And I usually wouldn't tell people that flip us off, but... Film away, man. Yeah. But you did have socks, so I feel, feel like I could tell them. What are you doing? Take a video. Don't take a video of me if I don't tell you it's okay. In public, I don't need your permission. Figure it out. Ma'am, you're in public. You don't get to decide if you're on camera or not. Well, what is the purpose of it? That would be a better question before yelling at people. So we are peacefully exercising our First Amendment right, something that's very, oh, see, there you go. Oh my God. Ma'am, I have an aversion to seeing bare feet, so next time cover up your feet because that offends me. If you wanna be offended by First Amendment rights in this beautiful country, then I'm offended by your feet. So why would you expose your feet without my consent? Honest, why would you expose your feet without my consent? I am not going to Because you can't, you. because you can't. Yes, I could say okay. many things. All right, respect our rights. It's a very beautiful thing, like every other person that's walked by. Okay. You don't have a right to privacy. That's what we're here to teach you. You don't have that right. You're talking about a right that doesn't exist. I'm, exercise, I'm exercising a right that does exist. It's guaranteed, it's a birthright. Dude, what's with this guy? Right. See? Perfect. Why don't you do it and do something You don't get to tell people how to exercise their rights in this beautiful land that you are enjoying the very rights that we're exercising in. If you're going to be here enjoying the rights, then you have to appreciate those exercising them. If you don't, North Korea is accepting defectors. I can help you get your passport. Okay, because they don't have rights. I enjoy the rights that we're exercising. You have a beautiful day, man. Yep. Because it's public. What? Because it's public. This is public. So why here? 
we go all over the place. We do city halls. We do out in public. We're allowed. It's public. We're allowed it's to be so anywhere. Boring. I don't think it is. I get to meet wonderful people like yourself. How else would I get that opportunity? Do I get paid to be on camera? No, not today, sorry. Wow. Well, it's already paid. So that would be if I was shooting a commercial for like a t-shirt or something. Sure is that you'd have to get paid a whole thing. Or a movie. Right, because you can't add any additional. I would think you could find a better place than this that is being paid. Oh, this is a beautiful place. I, I, I get to meet these wonderful workers. They're actually really friendly here. I like that. I think short people are strange, but that's, you know. You're making judgment, so I can make a judgment. We're judging together. How about that? That's a judgment. That's, that's a judgment. And I think that you look very weird. Because we live in America. Are you in America right now? Do we have to? Okay, well, then that might be the problem. You're misunderstanding where your location is right now. We're in America. We're protected. We're protected by a Bill of Rights. Yep. The, okay, and you look like a leprechaun. Bye bye. What are you doing? Taking video. Video? Yep. What is this? Uh, this written across your chest. Written across my chest. Uh, it's a shirt. It says. Uh, no, it says Supreme. It's what? a clothing brand. Oh, Supreme. Yeah, it's a clothing brand. And you're in disguise. So nobody. Can this see no. You. This is a beard. This is my beard. Uh, that's not a beard. What do you mean? This is my beard. That's hey, that's my beard. This is my beard. That's yeah. not a beard. It's my beard. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh, more! Yeah. How come it's a video? What are you guys doing it for? So we are doing what's called a peaceful exercise of your First Amendment rights in this beautiful country. That's all. Oh! You know, that's funny because I heard somebody, well, I got a phone call. And they said, why the kooky outfits, guys? What happened? Why the kooky outfits? Why the kooky beard that you got? You got the kooky beard, too. Mine's not kooky. Mine's real. It doesn't matter if it's real. So somebody with alopecia, cancer, or face disfigurement can't wear one? Yeah, well, you sound like an argumentative type of guy. Someone just asked you a question. All right. Well, yeah. What's up? Why a kooky outfit? So just kooky outfit? Huh? Kooky outfit. What do you yeah. mean? Have it's you my beard. Have you turned and filmed yourself? Let's it's my A. Hey, don't, don't try and Flip touch it, it bro. And show yourself. I don't have to. I didn't have to. Have a nice day, sir. You, you Obviously, you don't have very many good ones. You're a kook. You're a kook. Bro, look at your beard. It, it looks ridiculous, too. Come on. You can't talk about rig looking you ridiculous. Like bro, look you at... You, you, bro, you look, you look like a kook, too. Look at that beard. It's crazy. Are you guys constitutionalists? Yes, that's what you'd be, uh, I guess, yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. Yep. Need another one from way back. All right, there you go. Thank you. People don't realize when Bill of Rights was written, why it was written, and the Constitution. Do you know Pete Stern from uh, North Carolina? I do not, actually. Pete Stern started with patriotic. Okay. All right. In fact, what's going on with Trump is a disgrace mm. because that's double jeopardy. Mm. You know your law. Double jeopardy is a legal concept that prevents a person from being tried or punished more than once for the same crime. It's a right protected by the Fifth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, and many state constitutions also include similar protections. And uh, the people that are running against him are using the poor lady as a puppet. I wish she'd learn her rights. Yeah. Get rid of that garbage that's around her. Mm -hmm. but, uh, okay. uh, nothing. Yay, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. How, How you doing? How's everything doing today? Oh, 
it's going really well. What's the group that you belong to? So we just, it's called First Amendment Auditing. So it's an audit of our First Amendment. And then we disseminate that to the public to encourage more people to involve themselves in peaceful activism. Yeah, that's smart. Yep. That's smart, I agree. Too many people don't even study the uh, yeah. Constitution and they don't know the laws of the Constitution. And they, they and don't. the ones that do, warp it. You know, and, and that's, it happens all the time, but that happens when people stop exercising their rights. So like in California, there's three decades where we lost our second amendment because nobody exercised it, nobody cared enough to stop it, and it just mm -hmm. steamrolled over our rights. And they would like to scrap the whole constitution. Yep. Now, thankfully, we did get parts of our uh, second amendment back in California last mm -hmm. year with a ruling, but we'll see how that happens. We'll see how that goes. Do you know I worked the polls for, I forgot how many years, and they said there's no corruption. With the Democratic Party, there is corruption, my dear, especially mm. today. Uh, I watched a mailman from the post office in Dana Point take all the mail-in ballots and throw it into a dumpster. Mm. And I wrote Kelly personally a letter. Didn't get no response. All right. So I know where you're coming from. That's an interesting story. But I do have a question on the First Amendment. <laughs> okay. I'm a college professor, you know, have a lot of students and everything like that. Nice. And I believe in the First Amendment. Absolutely. To a point. Now, yes. here's the thing that gets me on the First Amendment. The First Amendment is being abused right now so much. And these people with fake news hiding under the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. So it's good to a point. So we've got to come up with an intelligent society to somehow do a little bit better fact-checking. Mm -hmm. We, well, in so fact, here's the dumbing down of people in the United States. Here's, I have an opinion on this. Okay, now, okay. I stay out of politics while doing this because um, exercising rights should not be political. However, this is my opinion on the interception or the force feeding of all this misinformation. We are now more than ever in a society that's raised on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook reels that are about a minute long. And so we are force feeding, or most of them, I, don't, I stay off of most of those platforms, but they are force feeding themselves information one minute at a time and accepting it as truth, fact, whatever it is. And the more you consume information that you enjoy consuming, the more they're gonna feed that information to you one minute at a time. And so these people aren't being met with opposing views on anything, they're just being met on what'll keep them on the platform for advertising revenue and things like that. So it is our fault that we have turned into a society where we are not fact-checking anymore. We are not um, citing sources. We're not, you know, we're fed a piece of information. Well, that's and people not are just, society yeah. doing that. That's the people running it. All of it, but yeah, yeah. The problem, the French guy that was just jailed and everything like that, and you know, they caught him. But so. schools are also partly responsible for teaching us how to be critical thinkers, and that's gone. Like, you know, we have a school system that is set up now to keep the labor force plentiful and no more uh, creating Preach. leadership. And, and Preach, chief, not you know, friends. the best leaders in the world have to be critical thinkers. You, I mean, you have to make decisive decision based on, yeah. you know, what's good and bad of any situation. If you can't do critical thinking, then, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Hello. This one is out of order. You're going to have to use the one in the box in there. Anyway, next category, yep. guys. 99 cents, beer. Is, is, it, is that a, like a dog? All right. Well, she could use some ninety-nine cent socks. <laughs> this is not a dollar store. Just a peaceful exercising of our beautiful rights in this country. <laughs> you have a good day, ma'am. Yes, she absolutely. Oh my God, I'm so glad you said that. I was like sensing it. I'm like, Dude. Berta from Two and a Half Men right there. Absolutely. Who are these people? Uh, they're Oh, it's the first exercise in a peaceful manner of our First Amendment right. Not in public. 
Okay. Not in public. In public, when you have zero expectation of privacy, oh, okay. there's no consent. What is it you want though? Uh, we, what we do is we disseminate how people react to the exercising of our beautiful rights and we disseminate that to the public to encourage more people to peacefully exercise their rights in this beautiful country. Sounds good. Perfect. You have a good day. <laughs> you almost got it. <laughs> no, that was actually a good one because he was a little peeved, but you calmed him down and it yeah. allowed me to have a conversation because he walked right by all of us and then... Which is funny, if you're gonna ask what we're doing, you should probably ask us. Yeah, they, they don't like asking you guys. Yeah. Ask us, don't ask Most us. people do, it's just a few, but it's all right. That one ended good, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Taking some video. I just get video of everyone that comes to the post office. Why? Just capturing some footage. Who do you work for? I work for independent. Why are you videoing me? I, don't I take video of everyone that comes to the post office. And, and in disguise. I'm wearing a beard. That's not a beard. Yeah, it is. This is a beard. Have a nice day, sir. What are you guys doing? A peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights. I wasn't even answer him. Okay. Sir, now you are harassing, so step yeah. back. And what are you doing? Not bad. Filming. There's a thing called Zoom. You have to figure out how to work that on your phone. You use two fingers to pinch. Two fingers to pinch. Jesus Christ. There you go, zoom. There you go. How do you like that? Perfect. Pretty cool, huh? Beautiful. Yeah. I'd like it better if you wore socks. <laughs> How you doing, ma'am? Hi. <laughs> I love your purse, by the way. Isn't it awesome? That looks really fun to play with. <laughs> I gotta zoom in on the purse. Hold on one second there. Perfect. Where did you find that? Look, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I'm not asking because I might. I'll look a little ridiculous if I had one. Yeah. So. <laughs> I just I love the shapes. It's crazy. Yeah, my wife would ban me from touching my shit and play with it too much. Bro, I would break it. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What's that? It's just a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights um, and then remind people that there's no privacy in public and if you want to demand privacy in public, you have to self-create it. So that's all. Uh, yep, nothing to fade, yes. Thank you for asking, though. Huh? Now you got to tell me where you got the first. No, sure. <laughs> We're actually moving there next year. Yeah, oh, nice. Nice. It like bends in all those directions. Why are you guys doing that? Why are you in my post office? Why are we recording? Do you exercise in And that's why she didn't get an answer, because she's an idiot. Somebody who doesn't respect rights. Huh? What's this for? We get video of everyone that comes in the post office. Why? Just capturing footage, that's all. For what? What if I don't want to be captured? I mean, isn't that an invasion of my privacy? So there's no right to privacy while in public. Okay. So we can't invade something that but, doesn't exist. But you're keeping your privacy with your beard and your glasses, but I don't have the right to do that. You do have the right to do that. You well, just didn't, I didn't choose know, I didn't to. know you were going to be filming me. Okay. So I didn't have the ability to make that decision, yet you've got glasses and a beard on, mm -hmm. and you're hiding yourself, taking your yes. privacy that you're taking away from me. There's no, there's no correct? privacy, so I'm not taking anything but, from but, you, sir. But I don't have the ability Key to Keyword is you public. Did. You have the ability. No, because you just I chose know, not I didn't to. know you guys were doing this. You, you knew. I, it's you it's not on me this. to tell you. 
Oh, okay. Sir, so you're in public. You're getting recorded by every camera. What's yeah. the difference between well, that I've camera got and this one? Well, because I've a bunch of guys that are focusing on recording. I'm going, why? And I'd like to know. Why not? I'm not giving my permission to be used on media. Oh, I don't we're need focused, your permission. We're recording you. We record everything. But well, why? It's just, it's just a, like a it's punk thing or something? exercise or? of our First Amendment right. It's okay. It's a exercise of our rights. Okay, so so had I known that, I could have put a mask on too and then exercised my First Amendment rights to come out with a mask and glasses. Right? Exactly. But, but, but I didn't have a way of knowing that when I came on the public. How, how would we let you know beforehand? I don't know, maybe put a sign out saying we're going to record you? That's not something we're allowed to do. That's actually against the law. We can't put a sign up. It's against city code. Yeah. All right, okay, I'm just, I'm just curious what, what the intent here. Are you going to be here every day? No. Okay. This depends. Hey. What is going on with the uh, cameras? It's going to be five minutes. Uh, you can ask them, but they're just exercising their amendment uh, rights. Seems like some kind of violation of my rights for them to be here. There's no right to privacy, sir. And we're also not trying to get the cops. That's misinformation. You're not trying to what? I was answering his question. Oh, sure you're not. The cops don't respond to these calls anymore. So why would we be here if we know that already? Because people like you need the education. There we go. Now you have something to sit on. Di ko alam uh, anong pagsabi mo. What is it? Uh, di ko alam uh, uh, anong pagsabi mo. Sabi mo ulit. Di ko alam. You don't speak English. Uh, di, uh, uh, sabi mo ulit. <laughs> okay. Have a good day. All days I had to get a package. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights. We disseminate to the public our experiences while exercising our rights so that others may learn to maybe get involved in peaceful activism. That's oh. all. Nothing nefarious. We're definitely not spying for anybody. That would be <laughs> weird, but... Already Christmas. <laughs> you I feel already like... gave me one of these. Already, uh, <laughs> I feel Thank like a you. spy would just stick a camera on the wall and nobody would pay any attention to it. <laughs> right. You have a good day, ma'am. You too. You guys have fun. So the first time you saw someone do an oddity and you got in an argument with them? <laughs> Is that what you were saying? Yeah. <laughs> not only me, man. Because everybody is not, not familiar with somebody. Yeah. With me. Not only me, uh, Well, I'm glad you learned from it. <laughs> Most of us are pretty nice people in general. I mean, we're out here doing something we're very passionate about. Um, you know, and it's just, it's a good, sometimes stark reminder of our rights and that they need to be exercised, you know? <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Hello. Love your shirt. Oh, thank you. How often do you get out there? Uh, quite a bit. Nice. Yeah. Got a condo out there. I love the area. Yeah, it's neat. So did you pick out the white top or is that an aftermarket or a before market thing? What's that? The white top on the Jeep? Oh, uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of unusual, isn't it? No, it, is. it, was, it was made like that. Ah. You don't see too many. I, I've not ever seen one of them with the red yeah. and the white. Yeah, I've seen uh, seen a blue and a white, light blue and a white. I have seen that one, but the red and white is a little bit shocking. I yeah, I, uh, I, I, I kind of dug that one.
In fact, you know, I bought it here at the local Jeep dealer, but it was, they had it displayed at Costco in Capital mm, Beach. Yeah, okay. I have one myself, so I, oh, I, good. I enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, we're, we've been happy with it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. Now, did you get the five speed? The, uh, yeah, I did. Okay, yeah. all right. The whole works, man. Absolutely. Taking pictures? Yeah. Do I smile or what? You can, absolutely. Oh, oh. Thank today. you. You too. Oops. Oh, hi. Oh, I didn't recognize you. You're the town safety guy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. What are you doing? Are you taking pictures of us? Taking some video, that's all. Videos? Yeah, yeah. How old are you? What'd you say? How old are you? What? Oh, that's a weird question to ask well, me. Well, because you're like a high school kid. All right. I used to be the vice principal here. Mmm. Well. So why are you guys uh, photographing? Do you guys have any uh, identification on who you are? Do we have to identify ourselves? Well, I'll call the sheriff right now. He'll do it for me. They're, They're not going there. to. They, they can't, can't identify us. That would be a violation so, of our Fourth Amendment. They apparently, really he's the public safety guide oh, or something, okay. according to this lady well, over here. Do you understand here? that a sheriff is not allowed to just demand ID from random people without articulate well, suspicion feel, of a crime? Well, I, I feel you're making a threat, so oh, I'll, I'll okay. tell him. All right. And you know what? My sheriff, okay. The sheriff happens to be okay. my friend. That's fine. And he's still he's the public safety guy. Sure. Oh, because bullshit. he's sure. still not going. Hold on. Hey, he's still man. not going to do a single hey. thing about it. Okay. He's still not going to do a single thing. So not only that, not only that, but I got it on camera that you're going to make false accusations, and that's a wonderful no. thing. Why, I love why, that. Why are you I love that. I don't. Sure. I don't hey, have to tell you. Yeah, you, you, you don't get to know. You don't get to know. Sir, if your cousin is the sheriff, you'd know they're right over there. You can walk over there. Bye bye. We'll bye. Bye bye. Talk to the sheriff and get educated that we can do that. Oh, his wife's not even going there. Let's see if she actually does take him to the sheriff. I don't think she does. <laughs> nope. Oh, bye bye. I love that woman. She was just trying to get him to leave. <laughs> she didn't even take him to the sheriff. She knows her husband. Damn. She was literally honking like, get back in the car right now. Come on. I didn't see him sneaking up on you. He was I trying to come down and. Yeah. He was trying to come in a way where we... Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I saw him get out of the car, and I was like, all right. He's That's gonna crazy, though. Like, But he did it in a way that we wouldn't see him because he yeah. tried doing it like that. Yeah, but I yeah. did catch it, and then he saw it. And, yeah. But, yeah, if you look right there, you can see through those so windows. So his first question to me, by the way, was how old am I? So that was a little wow. concerning. That's, That's why I was weird. like, bro. He literally walked up and said, how old are you? Yeah. He's wow. like, how old are you? I'm like, uh, yeah, I, I Well, you got to remember, Orange County was, at some point, the pedophile capital of the state so they've had trafficking ring so when someone walks up and asks your age you got to be really worried about that in yeah. fact next time i would tell him he was claiming to be a vice principal for some school around here then that's a, that makes it's it even hold on that makes it even more so creepy. actually one that more makes thing it more creepy that he wanted when your age the uh, lady who walked out here who in the tycon yeah she she said hey i recognize you you're the public safety guy or whatever yeah, yeah. so he's some sort of public safety yeah. officer as well not anymore. Yeah, he's Watch an idiot. This. Like, wow, he's Come walking on. around being a creep. So asking, next, hold on, next time, next time someone age. walks up and they just ask you your age, tell them some age that you can tie them into. So tell them I'm 16, and see how they respond because that you could be you could be taking a pedophile off the streets. That's yeah. very important work. You know what? I might have so, to try that next time. Yeah, because I I I'm think 14. that. I'm 14. I think that's a very disgusting question that he asked you. That's yeah, that was literally the first thing he came out of Did you get it on camera yeah, too? Yeah, of course Perfect. I did. Too, as I was walking out because he stood there for just a minute yeah, yeah. watching him and then he went, how old are you? Like after like yeah. 30 seconds staring yeah. at him. But being a principal and him asking someone's age just randomly in public, yeah. like that's weird. Yeah, that's very strange. Like, that's that's what, wow. it, what I said. I was like, that's a really weird question to ask. Like, how is that the first question? Or maybe he's verifying your age because he's not allowed to talk to kids. That could hey, be a problem. Hey, that could be it. Maybe he lost this principal possible. word. That's why he used to be a vice that's, principal. Yeah, that's why he's an ex vice principal. That actually sense. makes more sense yeah. now. Yeah. All right. I'm glad we put all this together with our investigative skills. <laughs> <laughs> our investigative assum assuming skills. <laughs> hey, uh, it, it's still creepy though, regardless. Oh, yeah. So. You can walk up to a 
someone who appeared to be a child. In our opinion, that was he's a dangerous person acting like that and Come asking on. those questions. What's your reason for videoing me? I take video, of everyone. Are you okay, sir? You don't need to get in my face like well, that. You, you want to be... back up? Why would you assault a young why man? Why are you coming in here? Because, because I'm allowed why to. Are you why are you, why are you following, following me? Because, because I'm allowed idiot. to. Because you tried to assault somebody. Idiot. There was no assault. Did you see me swing? You got in his face. That is an assault. You pushed him into the corner. Did you, you call the police or something? Yes, call there? them for assault. Actually, I'm going to have this guy arrested. They're right across the street. You can go over there and see them yourself. Why would you do that to him? There's a whole sheriff station. I got on camera you forcing him into the corner. That's a proportionate response to being filmed. Yeah. No, it's necessary if he decides to go hands on with somebody. Stop telling us not what not to say and what not to do. Especially after come on, bro. That's trampling on our first amendment rights. That that's not even I'm not even worried about that. But he doesn't get the right to push somebody into the corner. No. There was no contact. Doesn't have to be for it to be assault, just for the record. So if you want to call the sheriff, let's well, have that you conversation. Just did the same thing to me. Does so that reciprocate? I pushed you away from him. Absolutely. Yeah, you that, touched me. That is self defense. I am allowed to defend. He is dis no self defense because there was. He no is assault. legally disabled. Right. There was an assault. You guys are getting too loud. It's disturbing the, the transactions that's going to place. Take place. So, okay. Keep them. Keep them. Keep them boys to a minimum please don't get loud right now aside from this guy he's the one yelling First Amendment is definitely serious. You gotta respect our Constitution. It's very important, guys. It's very, very it's important. It's important that you film me mailing letters. In the exercise of our rights, it's absolutely important. Absolutely. Forces and compels conversation about our rights. You can shake your head. That's fine. I am shaking okay. my head. All right. I'm That's sorry that you don't. First Amendment. So why are you even mentioning it if you're here? How is this not the First Amendment? The First Amendment is what lets me be here. Don't talk to me. How I can that? talk at you all I want. You're the ones that came, you? you're the one that walked in and started throwing insult and saying ridiculous and what what insult did I get? When you were, when you said uh, what did she say? I forgot. He has it. I I smirked when I walked in the door. No, you said something. Not an insult. You said something. I'm just right. I'll have to check his camera for that. <laughs> Why are they they won't I literally did answer. Oh. It's the exercise of our First Amendment rights. So when I filmed the guy outside, he asked me why I was filming oh, yeah. him. Look at him. Look at exactly. We all film each other through the exercise of our rights. We do it all over. We do it all over, and it's very effective. There's three of you? Yeah. Why do you need three of you? <clears throat> Why not? Do you need different angles? Absolutely. Because when we disseminate this to the public and it goes all over YouTube, the angles... What? People mailing letters? No, we disseminate... That's how groundbreaking, No, bro. we disseminate mailing how people react to our rights. And those that don't believe in our rights should go live in North Korea. Hey, listen, I believe in everybody's <clears throat> rights. Okay. I just want to know why. You're I not, shared you're you. You're not filming the employees, you're filming the people. I shared why. I shared why. Be just because you want to? We disseminate our experience while exercising our rights to the public. Just like you come in here and make a disturbance with your phone. A disturbance. Your phone's been going off. See? There it is again. Don't talk to me about my phone, which you have a whole ass setup. But mine's not making a bunch of noise. You have a good day, sir. Yep. How you doing, ma'am?
I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Why are you incognito? So we teach people that if you're going to run around in, in public and expect and demand privacy, you have to self-create it. That's all. It's just ah. a little messaging. And the exercise, yeah, I, I appreciate it. I was gonna say I love your top, and then you and then you spoke, and you have such a beautiful uh, accent. accent. Yeah, yeah, but now you have a beautiful accent. Yeah, I'm like, ah. Oh. Forget that. Sorry. No, you're fine. How you doing today, sir? What this for? Uh, just a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights. It's very important stuff in this beautiful country. Did you serve in the Air Force? Yes, I did. So did my father, and I appreciate and thank you for your service. What What is it still about? I don't know. So it's an exercise of our First Amendment rights. So freedom of speech, press, all that. So in California, we've kind of already lost our Second Amendment. So this is to protect. If, if everyone stopped exercising our rights, then we, you know, obviously no one would care about them anymore, and they get taken from us. So we're out here just exercising our rights. You have a beautiful day, and again, thank you for your service, sir. Hopefully he wasn't an a-hole like my dad was. How you doing? <laughs> what does the V stand for? Uh, v loan. The what? Uh, v loan. It's a v? brand from oh. LA. Yeah, right. V loan. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the front. What is it? Le Legends yeah, never you. die. I love yeah. it. Uh, it's a Juice World. Like, do you know Juice World, the rapper? Yes, at all? absolutely. Yeah. Is it one of his brands? Yeah. Are you, ah, that's cool. Yeah, but he's like sponsored by him. Tons of respect for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Like, what are you guys doing here? Like, Just a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights, reminding people that you're always being filmed, and if you want to demand privacy in public, you have to self-create it, like I've done here as an example. Yeah. So yeah. you have a beautiful day. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you so much. Yep. Yeah. You're in public, ma'am. I don't need your permission. You're being recorded everywhere you go nowadays. Talking to a pillar. She behind here? She's still behind the pole? How about it? That lady's playing peekaboo behind the pillar. She's full on playing peekaboo. What is going on? <laughs> right? I'm so curious right now what she's thinking. Oh, there she comes. Yeah, those pesky little First Amendment rude. rights. Very rude, man. It's alright, she can be rude, it's her freedom. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. Shoe guys are just kidding about. Okay. I'm not ever going to give up on our First Amendment rights, but you have a beautiful day. Yep. Shh, don't, no, no. Oh. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful, thank you for asking. <laughs> I love your shirt, by the way. Oh, welcome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you guys doing that? The First Amendment auditing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have a blessed day, sir. Yeah, be good. Just do something fun this weekend. Well, I'll try. Yep. So while she's out there being a Karen, dude just walked right by him and like, oh, he's fine. How you doing, sir?
How you doing, ma'am? I'm here too. Yeah, how you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. That's good. Life's short. Have as many good days as you possibly can. Well, I keep trying. So you're here too, taking pictures. Yep. And I'm here taking pictures. Absolutely. And I welcome it. Even though I didn't know what I was doing, the guy had to tell me to hit the <laughs> button. You're fine. You're fine. Because Learning. I don't it, usually take pictures, but I, I guess it's actually important that you know how to do it in ra in rapid succession. So even while your phone's locked, learn how to turn on your camera because if you ever get hit by a car or something and you need to do it without having to log into your phone, it's very important that you learn how to use your camera as quickly as possible. Are you so. allowed to be in here? I mean, yes. So this is this is technically a public area. Um, this it is, is. Yeah, absolutely, and so anywhere in public where there's no expectation of privacy, we are allowed to be here exercising our rights and filming in public. So absolutely. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. But I appreciate you asking, and you've been kind about it, and I appreciate that also. Not unkind. I just yeah. just curious about the whole thing. Here. You're doing wonderful, and I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't like all this crap that they're always taking pictures of. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to add to. Your bathroom. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's very true. Very true. <laughs> But you have a very blessed day, ma'am. Thanks. Absolutely. And do something fun this weekend. This is life's right. short. Gonna go to a pool. Oh, nice. I have one in my backyard. I don't have to go too far. <laughs> And I still don't use it. <laughs> yeah, we, we have one in our apartment house that we don't use. <laughs> well, thank you, and I appreciate it. You have a good day, ma'am. Yep. How are you doing today, sir? Good, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, good. actually. Are we going to be stars in Hollywood now? I wish. I <laughs> wish I could do that for you. I would love to grant wishes like that. Thank you. Okay, how do I do that? They've been very good at trying to just return them. So, I mean, uh, everything's been very good. Is he asleep or is he awake? No, he's going to do it later today or tomorrow. So he's still working on it. But he brought back materials to work on, I guess, the opening of the pot. Yeah.
Oh, absolutely they do. And then we got the 360, so it records everything around me and the floor and the ceiling. And, yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> you have a gorgeous day, sir. Do something fun this weekend, okay? Okay, you as well. Absolutely. What's going on? How you doing, ma'am? Just a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights. Nothing nefarious. To, for what? To catch all the beautiful smiles. For, what are you going to use? So, we disseminate our interactions while exercising our rights to the public, and then we remind people that if you're going to want and demand privacy in public, you have to create it yourself. That's all. Nothing bad. All good stuff. Okay, can you say that again? Uh, which part? You're doing this to... Exercise our First Amendment rights in a very peaceful manner. And remind people that, you know, if you're going to run around or you're going to demand privacy in public, you have to self-create it like we have here. As just an example. You have that's to self-create it by... If you want privacy in public. It, oh, that's only if you're going to demand it. There's some people that do. Most people just live their life, walk on about their day. We've had 203 people today we've talked to, um, and it's gone really good. There's only been a couple people that decided to be upset about people exercising the rights, so. Are you making an outward statement by having cameras pointing at everybody instead of hidden in a corner? Exactly, it just present a way, you know, to force a conversation about our rights, that's all. A right to privacy, that's what you're asking for. No, 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 so that ship has sailed. <laughs> so we're just right. raising awareness and exercising our First Amendment rights, freedom of speech, press, expression. Okay. You have a beautiful day, man. Thank you for asking, though. I appreciate it. The lady that walked in right here, she's hella mad, but couldn't say anything because I was being so pleasant. And it's just, she wanted me to not be pleasant, apparently. As soon as you said that most people who come through... Yeah, are she huffed nice, and puffed yeah, and left. She, she got so upset and left. And I actually forgot to count the last few people, but we'll stick with two or three. Look at that big smile. Beautiful smile, sir. What's Love going it. on? Just a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights. Very important. So then why are you wearing So that's, I, I did share that, but I'll re-explain it. So there's some people that will walk out in public and they demand a privacy from one another, but I'm not responsible for your privacy. You're not responsible for mine. So I wear this as an example of a way that they could cover up their privacy if they wanted to have privacy in public. That's all. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You have a gorgeous day. Uh-oh. Nope. Being peaceful, but... Alright, no, we're good. How you doing today, sir? Good. That's wonderful. I'm glad you're doing good. Make sure you do something fun this weekend. What's all the photography for? So it's just a peaceful way to exercise our First Amendment rights. Something very important in this country to exercise our rights. You have a beautiful day, sir. Make sure you do something fun this weekend, ma'am. Got to go to the beach or go ride a roller coaster. Oh, what is this? Just a peaceful exercising of our rights, that's all. Very important to do that in this nation. What do you exercise? The First Amendment. That's part of it, absolutely. Yeah, well, you have the choice to go out in costume if you'd like to. I wear this for the people with cancer and alopecia that get bullied for wearing wigs or fake hair. What, what, what are you guys, um, what, do you have to do? What, what, what are you trying to do? I'm interested. We disseminate to the public our experience while exercising our rights in a peaceful manner. That's it. So what's your experience that you're disseminating? 
Mostly good. In fact, today there is uh, 241 people that have come in and been very pleasant with us or ignored us, which is also, you know, I consider pleasant. Um, and we've only had like about a dozen people that lost their damn mind and decided, you know, to scream and yell over people exercising their rights. So but what, what's the right to be able to record people? What's that? What's the right? It's covered under the First Amendment. That you're allowed to record people? Absolutely. And so there's also... That, that's what you guys want in... I mean, what's your angle? Do you think it's, you should be able to record people? Absolutely. No, so here's the thing. So when you stop exercising your rights, um, like in California here, we've kind of lost the Second Amendment because people stopped exercising the right to carry in public or to have, you know, to have firearms in public, which is a, it's a birthright. We've had that taken away. So imagine if they took away our First Amendment, which is freedom of press, freedom of speech, religion, uh, assembly and right to redress your government. Imagine if they ripped that away from us because people stopped carrying or exercising. Right. You know what I mean? Like we would lose the very rights that this nation was founded on. And I think that's, you know, not a good thing to happen. Okay. And so for my kids and their kids and generations to come, someone or some small group of people have to get out there and exercise these rights. Otherwise, you know, we, come, we become complacent with losing them, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, kind of. I think I'm following you. Well, I appreciate it. I do appreciate the questions, though. It's very important we ask each other questions and we yeah, learn from each other. It's not straightforward what you guys are doing. It's like, wait a minute. No, and that's why we're definitely willing to engage in some questions. So I do appreciate you asking. It's a very, very important thing to do. The way you ask questions is way more important than people coming in and screaming and yelling about being filmed and blah, blah, blah. So. No, no, and, and you did great too. You asked questions. That's very important. But I do, I appreciate you agreeing that people shouldn't scream and yell about it. <laughs> but it just is kind of unnerving. Yeah. yeah. And people are chasing you and you have no idea why. You're, you're fine. I'm glad I was able to answer and you have a beautiful day and go do something fun this weekend. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Absolutely. Oh, no. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I've told 300 people that today. <laughs> That's the first time it backfired. All right. Wow. I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, great feel, you jerk. I'm going to go tuck my tail between my legs now. No. <laughs> oh, Lord. Couldn't have, couldn't have guessed that one coming. I'm glad you witnessed that, though, because that was pretty... <laughs> I think the confusing thing for me is like, you know, there's all that talk about how in, in China they, they video everyone and they, the government has surveillance on you. Absolutely. It almost feels like there's something connected there. So, you know, in, in America, we're not there yet, but we're not going to be far behind. I mean, a couple, you know, not, I, would, I would say but, but a couple decades like, it seems now. like you pushing for that. No, no. Or so not, that's, that's not the thing. that would be surveillance and I'm not, a, I'm not for surveilling people. But I am for exercising our rights. And then what we do is we disseminate our experience exercising our rights to other people who hopefully might someday decide I'm going to peacefully exercise my rights as well. And so that's why we're here doing that. Okay. I'm not here to surveil you and, you know, we're not zooming in on personal details and we're not trying to steal your information. Like none of that's going on. <laughs> that would be more surveillance state. But you know. Totally. I'm just saying that's, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Like I thought you were maybe... I could totally understand Maybe that. Maybe protesting that, saying if, you, if, you're okay, if you're not okay with this, how are you okay with the government? Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I know you're probably on the opposite side. Though. No, no, I definitely, definitely not there yet, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> it's a good thing to bring up, but you know, that's a whole other important topic. But I'll let someone else exercise that topic. <laughs> totally. I, don't, I don't like that. That's, what's going on? Like, oh, just a peaceful exercising of our rights it's very important oh well don't video me please oh well, we have to video everybody that comes in as part of our social experiment while exercising our rights um yeah what about my rights so that's where I there's any, well right? that's where there's a misnomer there is no right to privacy in public and so that's one of the things we teach and remind people to be aware of that because it's actually dangerous to assume that you have privacy in public then, then you're loose with financial information. Like you'll be filming people, and people will be logging in on their phones, and you know, signing in the bank I apps. To be in the thing. Thank you. You have a beautiful day, man. Though. Definitely working some people up. You know, not intentionally. I was as cordial as possible with her. <laughs> 
That's why I try to use my, my I guess, uh, upper tone to kind of alleviate the tension, so to speak, I guess. But it doesn't work with everybody. But I guarantee you she'll go home and talk about our rights tonight. She's going to tell somebody she got filmed at the post office or posted on Facebook. Or... Yeah, I, I didn't actually <laughs> know that that was a thing. Yeah. Like, you don't have a right to privacy in public. It, you absolutely have zero expectation of privacy. In fact, the Supreme Court has ruled many a times in support of zero expectation of privacy in public. And you can be filmed anywhere for any reason, for any purpose. And as long as... What's considered a public? Yep. And they can even, a lot of people think, oh, you can't film my debit card, you can't do this. You can film everything. It's how you use the information. Ma'am, I would be happy to tell you, she's not going to have the answer to that. It's just a peaceful exercising of our rights. That's all, man. It's a peaceful way to exercise rights. That's all. I don't. I don't want my picture taken. Okay, but we're filming everybody as part of this project. But as part of what we teach people is there's no privacy. You can't expect privacy when you're out in public. But I can expect not to be filmed. Nope, not in public. It's protected by the Supreme Court and by the Constitution, ma'am. But you have a beautiful day. Go do something fun this weekend. So you can forget about the trauma of being filmed. So it's not necessarily fighting for First Amendment rights, it's to exercise the rights because let's pretend for a moment nobody exercised our rights, then why wouldn't anybody care if they got taken away from us? You know what I mean? So there has to be at least a small population of people that exercise our rights in this beautiful country um, or we, they'll absolutely get taken away from us. And it's been proven time and time again because there's states that make rights or make laws that infringe on our rights and then the Supreme Court almost on a monthly basis has to go and unwind state laws that infringe on our rights. And so imagine if everybody stopped caring about our rights, nobody was exercising, nobody was challenging, you know, the authority to take away our rights, then guess what? We don't need them anymore, right? Okay. So that's where we'd end up. Good questions though. You're asking some very good questions. <laughs> it's been a while. I, I had a... <laughs> Usually I get the top three, which is why are you filming me? Why are you doing this? And this is legal. So, you know, you're doing a good job. I appreciate it. <laughs> Stimulating conversation here. Yeah, I appreciate you answering the question. Of, no, I have no problem doing that. I mean, I think for the most part, I agree with where you're coming from. Yeah, I try. I, and we try to do it in respectful. And there's a lot of auditors that, you know, not a lot, but most auditors are super respectful, but there's some that aren't. And they're out there just to poke the bear. But that's, I'm doing this because I'm very passionate about what I'm doing. And I do this almost every day, so. Awesome. How you doing, sir? Good, where are you guys at? How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. Do you lay pavers? Yes. That's hard work. It is. It is very hard work. Good job though. Let's, Thank let's. You. Pacific Coast Pavers, give them a shout out uh, in the edit. Yes, it is correct, yeah. We here at Impact are definitely supportive of the First uh, Amendment while also supporting small business. Very important to support small business guys. Thank you. 
last year to do it again. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> so funny. Do you think there's thongs at the beach? Yeah. <laughs> I needed that. Thank you. That was funny. That's not wrong. That's not what we're here to tell You have a good day, man. Yeah, you too. It's funny you guys think this is America, man. Well, you, you know, we can. Good for your country, go fight for your country, man. How, you How do you know we haven't? I, I, you're you're making assumptions, just like you made an assumption based on a piece of an incident that you saw. You wouldn't be here if you were. You wouldn't be doing this because this is. Happening. What are you talking about? This is not. We're literally just existing. You have witnessed many people come in and have a cordial conversation with us. This is, this is not harassing. This is. This is you think, okay. this, is, you think All right. this is helping what's going on in the world right now? Absolutely it is. Because we are losing our rights every single day. You are just oblivious to that. Well, every single week, every single state in this country, every year passes laws that are unconstitutional that step on our rights. The Supreme that. Court has to then unwind those laws. If nobody gave a shit, nobody tested those rights, never, nobody pushed those boundaries, None of that would happen. None of them would get unwound because nobody would give. So this is you pushing those boundaries? Absolutely. We get arrested. We, go, we, we push those things. We fight those charges. We win. We're, I mean. But how, how does Kenneth Hassling keep? We don't have no idea. All we do we're is. Not we're not hassling anybody. Well, but this you, is. No. This is, man. No, it's not. Everybody that's come in since you've gotten here has been nothing but cordial except for one oh, lady. No, you, I know. But we can be cordial. But is this is this nice? I mean, we all that's not harassing. Right. My back is on the wall every single time. No, dude, nobody wants a camera. It doesn't matter. It's not in your face. Oh, dude, come on, man. It is not in your face. I'm, I'm, I, I would argue and, that and, this is and not when, helping what's going from on. From your right. house to here, I yeah. promise you, you got on 100 cameras without your knowledge or consent. Of course I did. So this is just one more camera with a conversation that gets to happen. All right. And All right. I appreciate you for serving. We, we, My entire channel, we throw so much respect and love to what's the veterans. That? What's your channel, man? We, just look up First Amendment Auditing on YouTube. You'll, find, you'll come across us. But we give so much love to veterans in our country. I believe that that's like the ultimate service somebody can perform. It, it's, you know, but part of that is taking an oath to uphold the constitution, even if that constitution makes you a little uncomfortable sometimes. First of yes. all, audit? Yes. Oh, audit? Audits, yeah. So let's pretend for a second that somebody comes in, they're uncomfortable being filmed. That is fine. Rights are not always comfortable. As Benjamin Franklin said, the day we trade our liberty for a little bit of comfort, we deserve neither liberty nor comfort. And we stand on that principle. These rights are our birthright. And how are we going to pass them on to our kids, your kids, their kids, if we don't have them anymore? No. And nobody knows to exercise them because everybody stops caring. Everybody stops giving about conversations, stop being forced yeah. to happen about our rights. And then they get taken from us because everyone stopped giving a shit. No, I, I agree with everything you say, man. I just you think that you serve military, right? You like guns. You, you want you want to be able to go hunting when you feel like I, it. And I agree with all the okay. amendments, man. Except California, we got it taken away. We don't have a Second Amendment yeah. until last year, when a when the Supreme Court said, "Uh, uh California, nope, go back to the drawing board. You can't do this." Yeah. So we are just now, after three decades, getting our Second Amendment back in this beautiful state that we live in, because. 30 years ago, a whole bunch of people rolled over and said, oh, no, that's okay. So if everybody stops doing what we're doing, everyone stopped exercising their rights, even if those rights sometimes make people uncomfortable, then guess what? We're in North Korea in three decades from now. Man, I, so I, I appreciate you actually being able to hear me out. No, I agree with that. to say what we disagree, man, is, is I don't, I don't, I don't think that this is helps to me. I'm somebody who's who's fed up with the uh, the negativity of what's happening around us. Absolutely, and I don't think that this helps it. It's, so that's you'd be surprised. So you, you mentioned negativity. Yeah. Every single person that has come in here, other than three people, four people, including yourself, there's 201 of them since uh, about 11 o'clock since I've been here. 201 people. And almost every single one of those people gets a beautiful compliment from me. I say, hey, I love your shoes. Hey, I love your shirt. I no, love your not. hair. I love, I am, I hand out a hundred compliments as like every, every single hour, I hand out a hundred compliments. You don't have my permission. You don't need it. That's part of why we're you here know, teaching. I don't care, but the problem is that I'm not 
problem is, is you guys okay. are covered up like fools. It doesn't matter because we're free to do so. We're free to okay, do so. Okay, well, I'm free to say that. Absolutely, I absolutely, and I appreciate you exercising you your freedom. You should be in a public place, period. Okay, that's that's definitely a why, stretch. Why so, can't you tell okay, people you. why? You're Thank you, brother. Yeah, why can't you tell people what? You're I literally doing? did. Then what are you filming? We are doing a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights in this beautiful country where they need to be exercised. Okay, but I have the exercise right to not be You do not have a right. You do not have that right. That's okay, what we teach people. Okay, so America has nothing. There's we no nothing. right to privacy in public. You have to create your own privacy. Which you can do that with makeup. Women can put a whole bunch of makeup on and create their privacy. You know, I have to do this to create okay. privacy. The turmoil that's going on in this country right now. Okay, you're we're gonna go down that road. Worse. Okay, all right. You're making right. it worse. Ma'am, I hate feet. I don't wanna look at feet. So are you gonna permanently cover up your feet because when there's a segment of the population that doesn't wanna see your feet? Oh are you gonna Are you gonna cover up your feet from now on because you now you're are too aware? Young to understand. I'm too young, I'm older than you. Oh, nice really? try, absolutely. How old are you? In my 40s, late okay, 40s. Okay, you're not older than I am. Well, you're then take that as a compliment. Take that as a compliment, it's but I absolutely do understand. Cover your feet up next time, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> I love this dude. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> uh, I love your shirt, by the way. Oh, I like the <laughs> scorpion. Oh, that's funny. Um, your poster seven is wildly outdated, though. Oh, uh, that's and, the one over... Yeah, and I brought it up last time, but it hasn't been changed since, so... Uh, I'll have to let them know. I'm not so sure who changes them. Uh, any supervisor can just print one out off the website and just put it in there. That's what they usually do, of course. But... I wasn't aware of it last time. Who could you speak for last time? Uh, whoever the supervisor was, it was on our video. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I appreciate you looking into it. Let's see. Is it the one of the It's the one, yeah, one over there. Yeah, normally uh, we've had a few supervisors that you know, they just go in, they change it out. Um, but it's this one right here. So it's uh, wildly outdated, almost 20 years, 20 plus years. 2003, yeah. Yeah, very. How you doing, sir? Oh, hello. what are you guys doing? Just a First Amendment exercise. I want to thank you for your service, by the way. Well, here you are. Thank you. So yes? hopefully next time you guys come in, that's going to be updated. There you go. Are you the supervisor? Or? Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, how long have you been supervisor here? Uh, I've been here for about three years. Oh, shit. Oh, it must have been your day out because you do not look familiar to me. Yeah, first time. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm doing wonderful, actually. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. you asking. So where can I see all this? Uh, YouTube channel? First, first Amendment Auditing on YouTube. Okay. You have a beautiful day, sir. Stay safe out there. Yeah, I'll check it out. First Absolutely. Amendment. Yep. Cool. All right. Thank you for asking.